Hey you guys, just want to show you the view real quick. We're gonna go back and meet them, but what you found them? Oh, but just look. Freaking gorgeous. And then ah. something you guys didn't hear about. Basically, the the man's side of the family has to pay the woman's side of the family a certain amount of money. Usually you're supposed to give like as many ghosts as you feel like should, she deserves to be counted for. Um, but these days, like, it's hard to find a hundred healthy goats, so people um, just pay the equivalent of that in money uh, that you would pay for a goat for one goat, and uh, just as how many goats it's gonna cost. So that's how much you have to pay for a woman. Yeah, but you're giving that to like the the family of a bride. Yeah, so basically the more like educated and intelligent, uh, what? The more you, uh, you've been through in life, like, the more experienced you are. Yeah, the more expensive she is. So girls, get your education, so your parents can be rich. Okay, so right now everyone's lining up to wash their hands so they can all eat. Um, number one thing, Kenya, before you use them, wash your hands, okay? Cause you know what? At the end of the day, your hands are so dirty. Like you wouldn't believe it. Maybe you're not even. You're basically rubbing your hand in dirt. <laughs> okay. And then when you wash your hand, you just see all that coming off. That's just how it ends up being. I don't know what happened. But um. Everyone <laughs> waiting to wash their hands. And the food's over there. It's like. We just like got done praying and stuff. And then also, that's my cousin. You know, the casino. Both of them are those two guys. Yeah, so what? we have a way to the family. So not everyone can come, you know. It's like kind of way out of the city, out of their like, Tennis from now. Yeah, I fell asleep with my hand so bad. But, like, my hand was just like, no. I couldn't do it. My neck was like, no. But, um, but yeah. So this is like right here. So this guy doesn't eat it. Tribal language is more important. It's not See that? Basically what you do is that you stand in line, you wash your hands first, and then you go eat some food, okay? There's some delicious food there. Got three chapatis, three slices of chapatis, not full chapatis. Freeloader. Just kidding. Just kidding. What do you do? What? Okay. But yeah, so everyone's still eating, and then I don't know what's going to happen after that. But I was recorded. Low battery. Yo. Thank you. to find the bride amongst everyone, all these girls who are dressed in shupas, who have similar body shapes and everything, and if he picks the wrong, um, thank you, and if he picks the wrong um, girl, he has to pay equivalent to one goat, which is 500 shillings, I mean sorry, 5,000 shillings, which is like 50, 55 dollars American money about, yeah, for every person he gets wrong, so, what <laughs> Okay, I'll get it right now then. Alright, so you have to watch it. 
it's gonna begin. A cuckoo. Complexion. So you do you know her complexion? Nanga, yeah. why don't you smell her? I can't. Hold on. Hello. Hello, hello, Anna. Yes, you can do that. 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 Crown is bright. Stop backing up, dude. So this is a very important part of the wedding. They're gonna cut like it's like cutting the cakes so of you cutting the, the shoulder. goat. The shoulder of the goat. Five fishes eat meat. Oh, who is this? Right? Oh, look at that smile Korea's face. That's my Korea. This guy. That's Nanga, my cousin. That's my cousin in law. That's her sister, I believe. Oh, you have the rest of the meat. Oh, no. Oh, Actually, my battery's gonna run out, so we're gonna have to wait to actually do the cutting. Nigger, <laughs> I 
Hey you guys, so that was part two of the um, Akukui wedding. It's only two parts. <laughs> Um, I just want to talk to you guys about what happened a little bit afterwards. So it took Nanga, I think, I think three times to find his bride. And it was on the third try that he actually found his bride. We tried to go inside and, you know, like, blend, like help him by <laughs> being part of um, the ladies who are being dressed up. But only one of us got picked, which is my niece. If you saw her, she was a light-skinned tall girl with um, a red shirt on. Yeah, she's really, she's really smart and really cool. I love her. I wish I got to know her better as well. I just met her that time in Kenya, but she was the only one that got to dress up. And the thing was, like, the first time they came out, like, the shoes were showing. So they were like, you have to look at the feet, look at the feet, right? But I think they heard us saying that. So the next time they came out, they covered their feet, like, all the way, which is the video you saw. That video where they were showing the feet in the beginning, like, I don't know what happened, but it won't let me show it. Um, Like, it won't let me upload the video for some reason. So I was just like, whatever. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so towards the end of the day, what did we do? It, it started getting really cold, so we started drinking, like, Oshoro. Uh, we weren't allowed to have any alcoholic drinks. Well, the older, the guys, they, they were allowed to drink Corona, but, like, if you come from a Kenyan family, no, if you come from an African family in general, drinking around your parents and the elders is just not a good image you want to uphold there um, at all. So it's not, it's like, I want to drink. Not that I drink beer, but, I mean, like, I wish I could have had a drink. They had wine as well, but that was only for the older people like the older people like not like older than my dad's age which he's like in his fifth early 50s or something um yeah so it's only for them so we didn't get anything but oshoro and like soda and stuff which is like really cool different types of soda in in kenya that you need to try out like uh my favorite it's not my favorite but i do favorite it. it's called um stony it's like this i think it's ginger ale like a honey ginger ale or something it's really tasty um, yeah, okay, so, so what we did after that, yeah, we drank Oshoro, we ate some meat, um, we already ate earlier, like, the real other food and stuff like that, so then later on, we just, like, hung out and chilled with each other, and then we went home, and the thing that I want to point out, like, when it gets dark in Kenya, well, depending on where you are, like, in, we were in the countryside, kind of, sort of, kind of, um, Narok, oh, no, we were in Narok, we were in Nakuru, um, when the light, when the sun goes down, like, it gets pitch black. Like, if you compare it to the states where there's, like, lights, like, on every street and things like that, you, it's, <laughs> it's nothing like that at all in Kenya. It's actually really scary. For me, it's really scary because I'm, I'm just not used to being in a place where when the sun goes down, all the lights go off, you know? Not saying that houses don't have lights in some parts of Kenya. I mean, like, some cities and stuff don't have, like, street lights and stuff, but... Um, a lot of places, if you're in the countryside, when the sun goes down, it gets pitch black. And it's it's really frightening for me, but I think it's very interesting as well. Um, but I, saw, I felt really safe. I was with my family, and I was in, like, her house grounds, uh, my cousin-in-law's house grounds, so it was pretty okay. But it's, it's actually an interesting experience. When you guys come to Kenya or any other rural area in the world, um, you will, you'll know what I'm talking about when the lights go off. Um when the sun goes down um yeah so that's just something i want to talk to you guys about also like I, I think i have at least two or three more videos of this kenya vlog and then uh like i said i do have some videos of japan oh man i just been so busy with school and stuff so sorry but i will get to it i promise um thank you for subbing and thank you for watching my videos i'm so happy i got to share this experience with you guys of my time in kenya um i had a great time this year um, because I was allowed to do more things than I was when I was 18. Like, literally, I could not cross the street by myself when I was 18. And, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, you're such a baby. No, I'm serious. It's so dangerous in Kenya to cross the street. Like, if you're not smart about it, like, you can get killed. Like, you don't have the right of way in Kenya. Cars have the right of way, you know. So, I finally learned when I'm 20, so I felt, I felt like a big kid now, you know. <laughs> but, um... 
yeah, and I was allowed to go out like clubbing and drinking, things like that. So, and also I got to use the public transportation a bit more, which is pretty cool. And I'll talk about that maybe a bit later, but um, yeah, this time in Kenya was a blast. Uh, thank you for watching my videos again. Thank you for subbing. Much love.